What I want to show you now is a really fun, common move to make to help yourself uh, not only with lead guitar, but even being able to throw in some cool stuff when you're playing rhythm. Uh, and it goes like this. We'll do this in, in G. So if your ears could tell there, it was really the same thing in like three octaves. So I went from this G, and now we, you know, we incorporate our, our octave shapes that we just talked about. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm going from this G at the third fret of the low E to the G at the fifth fret of the D string to the G at the eighth fret of the B string and then all the way up to the G at the fifteenth fret of the high E string. So I'm just doing the same move there, right? So I'm picking the third fret of the low E. Then I'm essentially sliding in. I'm probably hitting the fifth fret of the low E, but I'm sliding into the seventh fret of the low E string. And then to the fifth fret of the A string, seventh fret of the A string, and then you're back to G at the fifth fret of the D. So we get, right? And now I'm just going to repeat this once again. So I'm on the D string doing the same exact move. Go to the eighth fret of the B string, and I do the same. And I slid up to the G string at the fifteenth fret, right? Okay. Um, so where that becomes fun is if you you know say you're in a one, four, five, and G, right? And you go to C. take, you know, simple 1-4-5 progression. Now when I do something like this, I'm really, you know, I'm almost still feeling or hearing the rhythm. Right? So I'm kind of still, so when I go, Feeling the rhythm, right? Um, if I if I was if I was to loop this real quickly here, so here we go. So uh, So I was, what I was doing there was I was using the, I employed the same move when I went to the C chord. I just started on the A string, the C on the A string. So, so it's the same exact move. Third fret of the A string to the seventh of the A string, fifth of the D, seven of the D to the fifth of the G. And those are your two C's. So I'm just working that move. And then I go up the D and I do the same exact thing. So it's the same. All right. Another thing you want to do is find all your basic major arpeggios on the neck. This is a little bit of a sidetrack here, but. Uh, sorry. So I have a G, B, D. I go to my next G, I have a G, B, D. G at the 8th fret of the B string, same three notes. G at the 10th fret of the A string. G at the 12th fret of the G string. So now this pattern changes there because when you cross the B string, you got to move things up a half step. 
So all I'm doing here is just finding it. All this comes back to knowing the notes on the fretboard and those octaves and things like that. So I'm just playing the same exact thing on the neck. 